Yeah, okay, so cool, about this game, it reminds me a heck ton of Nuclear Throne, which I hope to jam someday on stream, because... Did you get that in the... the indie um, box. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, it feels a lot like that, except, like, fantasy. But then, like, uh, with Nuclear Throne and what I've heard about Gungeon, like, mm -hmm. you don't really level up. It's just getting more weapons. But then this game has, like, a Diablo slash World of Warcraft thing where, uh, in the middle there, in the middle of the HUD in the left-hand corner, there's, like, it shows the axe. Oh, okay, I just warped somewhere. It shows the axe and some other things. Yeah. Um, those are abilities that I can cycle through and use with one of my one of my um, bumpers and then the potions and stuff on the bottom right of that middle part of the HUD are um, they're used by the d-pad which is okay. weird because I like you can't tell just by looking at that line of three potions which one is activated by which button which is yeah. pretty annoying but then by pressing X, I can bring up a menu to level up those uh, those skills. Oh, and yeah. And then every once in a while, I can press Y to level up. And each level up, I can um, put a point into stats. So hmm. there's like a whole like RPG kind of level. And I guess... Shit, I think these mages are gonna kill me. Yep. So there's that I'm whole level. For it. Oh. Yeah, I went into an area that I've never been in before because I found a bookshelf that was like, enter hidden library. It's like, okay. Oh shit. I guess I I just will. caught you dying now. Yeah. <laughs> there was some serious, like, uh, frame rate droppage <laughs> when the whole purple magic thing happened. <laughs> yeah. That was pretty rad, but, um, that sounds cool. So, other than are you that... Just, are you just playing on, a, like, a 360 pad right now, or...? Yeah. Nice. Like, um, before when I played Overture, it, it had a similar twin stick thing to it, mm -hmm. and I was just clicking like mad because I'm like, oh, I'm not used to twin stick controls and then I'm like I'm gonna get used to it I'm gonna play some nuclear throne and then after playing that for a bit now it just feels good on the controller and I don't yeah. have to click like a maniac either yeah though definitely... overture was more like like attack happy like it wasn't like planning out when to when to hit your attack button mm -hmm. but um yeah, I don't know, I guess the whole RPG aspect just adds a neat layer to the kind of roguelike, or roguelite thing to it. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever played, um, uh, Rogue Legacy? I actually bought that for, like, two and some dollars recently on Chrono GG. Oh yeah? Which... I think you'd like, I think you'd like that game. It's it's I've played it pretty a bit cool because at my friend Paul's before, but yeah. Okay, so you kind of get the gist of it then. Yeah, that I, uh, I, I, I it's like, like it generations it's like... of warriors, and then they can yeah. each have like random things that are weird with them. Like one of them can turn the whole game upside down. Yeah. Or like one of them will just be like cosmetic, and it's like has crippling flatulence. Yeah. And things like that. I, I think the game's cool because it's kind of like you you work your way into building a character that's much stronger and much more resourceful, I guess. But it takes like you have to murder off like fifty other people <laughs> to get there. Yeah. You know? So. Right, because I, I gotta can, I gotta uh, play that game again, but you can put resources into things that stay each generation, right? Yeah, yeah. 
like you build your castle and that kind of carries over to each generation and stuff and you try to accumulate as much uh i can't remember if it was like gold or whatever to level things up i think it was gold but i don't know if i ever actually beat any of the bosses in that game i was terrible at that game but it was like a giant eyeball that I was fighting, and that was probably like the first boss. So, but no, this game is cool. I should probably play it again sometime. Yeah, I want to get to playing it sometime, and maybe even on stream. But um, I don't know. I'm. I also like thinking of like challenges to do, and one of the ones I yeah. want to do with Dark Souls is trying to see if like um like let my only melee weapon be the broken sword hilt that you get at oh, the shit. beginning of the game <laughs> have you watched uh, lobos jr on twitch no you should check him out because he's like entirely dark souls challenge runs um like he did uh i don't know he he messes around with like DS fixed, I think, and stuff. Okay. So like he manipulates the game. Like one playthrough was the uh, the Sanic, gotta go fast playthrough where oh, God. he cranked up the speed times two. Um, what was another one? He did like bow only and shield only runs and stuff. And some runs he'll just like automatically set it to like new game plus five or something like that. <laughs> but he does like all these like crazy challenge runs that are just insane but they're definitely worth checking out he has like a whole like excel spreadsheet of just all the challenge runs he's done he's been like I think he's like i don't even know i wanted to guess like 50 maybe maybe even more than that because that's just i think that's just dark souls one but he's also done like dark souls two and three stuff too huh but and i think bloodborne also he did like a Oh, what was it? One of the DLC bosses in Bloodborne that's, like, stupidly hard. He did a new game plus seven fist-only fight, and it was, like, 40 minutes long. Jesus. It was insane. Was but, it the, uh, what is it, the Orphan? No, it was, uh, it was Ludwig, the first one. Oh. But, like, that, bo that boss is hard, too. <laughs> like, I, I, my, uh, I went into that boss fight having beaten like everything else in Bloodborne and like power leveled to like 162 and it was still like I guess it was just cause like it's such, he's such an erratic uh, enemy to face off against that like I still wound up dying once or twice I think just trying to get used to it to, like boss patterns and stuff like that but yeah that one was tough I actually didn't die to Orphan of course I, I did that my first try but like that being said, I was like a hundred level one hundred and sixty two or something like that at that point. So it was just like not as big of a challenge as it could have been. So because I was like my vitality is at like fifty, my strengths at fifty, <laughs> my my stamina is maxed out, my dex is like also fifty, like everything is just like so high up that it just just like punishing everything that gets in my way. So. <laughs> I need to go back through and play it at like a level where I might get my ass kicked a few times just to see not what it's so actually grindy. like. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not that it's not grindy. I just grinded because like I enjoyed the game and I like playing it a lot. So right. like I just grind because of that. But at the same time, it's just like, I don't know, I was taking things on like too easily at times. So I need to, I, I need some, I need to indulge in my inner masochist a bit <laughs> and play through again so um dare bear san cartier or darren san cartier he's in the chat right now and we're gonna be moving in together in august nice. so, i don't yeah. know what it is but i'm still gonna say nice you are i guess i wonder if you would have like if he was in high school while well, you were still in high school. I think so. But you might just not know Maybe. known him. Yeah. Name sounds familiar. Well you said Dare Bear, and that <laughs> I 
I have a friend that his, oh, right. his gamer tag is uh, Dare Bear 69 ist oh, He actually goes by Dare Bear? Yeah, That's well, funny. we call him that sometimes, but yeah, his gamer tag is. That was like from before I met him, too. Was His nickname was Dare Bear. Oh, damn, dude, I'm at the boss. Okay, I had to refresh my stream because it, like, pooped out on me, but. We're back in he's, it. He's the, right now, he... the Skeleton oh, okay, King. now. Here we go. Captain uh, Skellington? Yeah. Big old scary Skeleton. I think he's like... Oh, kind of like the mascot boss. That if you like look oh, yeah. up this game on uh, Steam or something, it's it'll probably be his picture. But what's neat is that if you time it right, your swings can... Uh, can cancel out his shots. So that's nice. part of the strategy. But this guy's given me some given me some hard times in the past. But I beat him yesterday oh, and shit. I've got a good amount of potions. But then he keeps just summoning dudes. So it's just screen filling. Um but I guess it's nowhere near as crazy as shmups can get. Which yeah. is something that, like, I want to end up looking at. Because have you ever heard of, like, uh, was it Toho or something? It's, Toho? Like, yeah. Like they... Just madness shmup. Oh, okay. I got screwed. No, I, I don't know if I've heard of Toho like a shmup. Toho is like the people that make Godzilla movies in Japan. Oh, no, I, I don't know but, how uh, you'd yeah. pronounce it, but I think it's T-O-U-H-O-U, I think. And they, Tuhu? Tuhu, maybe. Something like that, but they've just created... Oh, shit. They have like a just died on my screen. <laughs> yeah. They have a series of shmups, basically, that just look like the most ridiculous thing ever. Like Ikaruga? Or Ikaruga, however you pronounce it. Maybe, I've like I've heard that's, the that's... name, but I've never seen it. Oh man, that's the one where like you have to change your shield type depending on the type of projectiles coming out. <laughs> so there's like blue ones and reddish black ones, and you gotta change your shield types to like protect from different ones, and it gets nuts, like absolutely insane. What are these jokers just doing? hanging out in the shop. It's one of the things I'm grateful for living in modern times. That you can go into a shop Don't have to and worry just about... shop. A magical no scroll, a hammer, or a warrior's book. I might go um, for the defense. The warrior's book. Okay. But yeah. So you said Joker's at the shop, and then I was like, hey, <laughs> you walked into this other room, and now I see that you're in a room that actually said a shop, so now I know how <laughs> much of a delay there is on me seeing what's going on. <laughs> yeah. So I'm, pro I'm providing great commentary for your uh, stream here. Well, what's he going to pick? He said defense. <laughs> oh, is it? Is it? <laughs> it is. All right. Delayed but. commentary. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's, it's what I specialize in. <laughs> so what else is new? I just started uh, summer work recently, and what are you doing now? It's been interesting. Um, I've I'm doing like parks work. So okay, so it's like like a, lawn mowing, a that crew sort of thing. guys, and we go around and do like weed trimming and stuff. So that the more like oh, yeah. industrial lawnmowers can go in there and do like the big patches of land, but um, okay, it's more the stuff that they wouldn't be able to get around easily, like trees and posts and stuff like that. Okay, and then also like garbage pickup and stuff. But just driving around from place to place, even just in like the last few days, I've seen. I've seen some interesting parts of the city that you don't normally <laughs> that, get to uh, experience. <laughs> yeah, like um, what's it? What's the scary place? Is it Transcona or Strathcona? Um, or is it Transcona something else? Transcona is okay. 
because I think Strathcona is Edmonton. Anytime there's like a Kona in the name, you know, <laughs> like you're in you're in big trouble if you go in there. But I don't really think I work around in that area. It's just like some of the things that you see sometimes. Yeah. Because, like, we were just driving around, like trying to go to our next park, and there's this shop that kind of has like a. Oh Jesus, all the magic. Okay. Um, no, there's not a magic shop, but there's this back lane cool. to the shop, and there's a guy that I'm guessing works there and was like on break or lunch or something. And from what I remember seeing, he was either in like light colored shorts or just like his underwear out on a lawn chair <laughs> just beside the road. <laughs> Just nice. like laying flat out and being like, yeah, and it was like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, that's, that's fun. Um, Go gotta cool off in the summertime. It's hot out there. <laughs> yeah. Get some sunscreen on. Get a nice glass of iced tea. 